Now, unlike in other photo editing programs like Lightroom, editing the texture and clarity of your photo in Photoshop is definitely not obvious because if you're looking at all your adjustments here, there's no clarity option, there's no texture option. So how can you adjust these settings in Photoshop or is it even possible? Well, luckily there is a way to do so, but it's kind of hidden if you're not familiar with this specific tool. So here I already have a photo opened in Photoshop. So let's just assume this is what you're starting with. First, I'm gonna select my image layer. I'm gonna right click and go to convert to smart object. And the reason that we're doing this is so we can go back and edit any of the adjustments we make later on if needed. Once that is converted, you'll see this little icon here, and then we'll go up to filter and then down here to camera raw filter. Now camera raw is like a mini Lightroom inside of Photoshop and it has all of the main options that you could possibly need for editing the base adjustments of your photo, including the texture and clarity slider. Now if you open a raw image into Photoshop directly, you will find yourself in camera raw from the start. So in that case, you're already ahead of the game and you don't need to do the initial step that we just covered, but if your layer is already opened in Photoshop, then you're gonna to wanna to convert to a smart object and then open Camera Raw like we did here. Now, once you're in Camera Raw, there's a whole bunch of options here, but within the basic settings, down near the bottom, you'll see the texture, clarity, and dehaze. So obviously by increasing the clarity or the texture, you're gonna change that in your image. So it's really easy to do. Now the problem with these two sliders though, is that they will affect your entire photo at once. So what if you just wanted to apply texture or clarity adjustments to a single spot within Camera Raw here? Well, I'll just reset these by double clicking on it. And let's say I wanna add just a single clarity or texture adjustment around the fire pit here. Well, in that case, I can go and use the adjustment brush. So clicking on the adjustment brush right here. Now with your adjustment brush selected, you can easily adjust the size of your brush here. And then you can just click and paint over the areas that you want to add your clarity or texture adjustments to. In this case, that's my fire pit here. Now, once that is added, you can double check where everything is actually going to be affected by checking this little mask option here. Everything that you see turn into a color, in this case it's set to white, everything that is white will be affected by these clarity adjustments. Now to actually apply these clarity adjustments, I'll just click and drag this up like so, and then I'll add some texture in there. And then now it's only being applied to this one area in the fire pit. If you wanna adjust the feather or flow and things like that of your brush, just click on this little icon right here, and that will reveal a bunch of other brush settings for you that can help to make your adjustments blend into your photo a little bit better. Now what we just did with the brush tool also applies for the radial filter. As you can see, we have texture and clarity as well as the gradient filter, we still have texture and clarity. Now, once you're happy with your adjustments, in this case, we've applied them onto our fire pit in just that one area, we can go and click OK. And those camera raw adjustments will now be applied directly onto your image layer. But since we were using a smart object, you can see that we have a smart filter and then the camera raw filter. So that means we can go back and access these adjustments later on if we need, and it's not permanently added to the image. If you didn't turn your layer into a smart object, then those texture and clarity adjustments would be permanently added to your image, and you wouldn't be able to go back and adjust or refine them later on. With this setup here, you can just double We'll click on the camera raw filter like so and that's going to reopen camera raw for you and then you can go and access all of your adjustments just like they were previously. So although these adjustments are kind of hidden within Photoshop and you likely wouldn't find them at first glance, they are really easy to access and with smart filters, you can edit non-destructively. Now if this video helped you to edit the texture or clarity in your photos in Photoshop, then make sure to hit that like button down below as it really makes a huge difference to support this video and this channel. I thank you so much. Anyways, my name is Brendan from BeWellCreative.com and I'll catch you back here next time for another new tutorial. See you then.